I love I, it. I love them all. I love them. It's better than Eurovision. What it do was. we have for Eurovision? <laughs> I was still waiting for, well, Leon, well done, well done. But I was waiting yes. for Jamie to get that chord. And he did. Well, yes, yes, he, he did. got there. <laughs> Excellent. Well done, all of you. Fantastic. Right. OK, weekend weather then, Alexis. Yes, actually not looking too bad this weekend. And in the next few days, we've got only a little bit of rain. Dane Gardner took this shot of lightning over Paul today. Paul Wallace photographed the NHS plane taking off at Bournemouth Airport to collect the next load of PPE. That's from his home in Ferndown. And David Tilbury sent us this picture of Mamatus clouds over Felpen in West Sussex. So today we had a number of really quite severe thunderstorms in a few places, loads of lightning strikes right across the south. And we did have some sunshine and you can see there was sunshine from this person's window in Gosport captured earlier on today. But we also had those thunderstorms and this cumulonimbus cloud was captured in Shanklin from the Isle of Wight. So through the course of tomorrow, there will be a good deal of dry weather, and that's also the case on Sunday. Perhaps a little more cloud around on Sunday than on Saturday. Over the weekend, it should be mainly dry. Tonight, there is the risk of one or two thundery downpours, a bit of lightning, even some hail in there as well, but a good deal of dry weather, and those showers will start to tend to ease during the early hours of the morning. But in sheltered spots in the countryside, temperatures could drop just above freezing. So we may have a little bit of a frost first thing tomorrow morning, but many places will be frost free. A good deal of sunshine is expected tomorrow. It will be a dry day. We'll start to see a little bit more high cloud develop during the course of the day, and that will turn the sunshine hazy in places and may produ produce the old isolated shower for northern parts of the region. Temperatures tomorrow will be higher than today, up to around 16, possibly 17 Celsius. So tomorrow night, we start to see increasing cloud down towards the southwest and that may bring one or two very isolated thunderstorms for parts of Dorset even up to Wiltshire and for the Isle of Wight. Generally it should be dry with that increase in cloud and lows of around four Celsius and that cloud will increase even further coming into Sunday. We have this area of high pressure down towards the south and also down to the west, low pressure to the northeast. Sunday we are going to see a little bit more cloud around, but brightening up through the afternoon, especially for southern coastal counties, and the winds will be fairly light. So here's the outlook for the rest of the week. We've got a lot of sunshine over the weekend, slightly more cloud around on Sunday. Both days should be mainly dry. The very isolated shower expected on Saturday. Into next week, well, on Monday, we'll have a good deal of sunshine as well. It's on Tuesday that we see the low pressure with various we um, weather systems out towards the Atlantic start to try and creep its way in. So we may have some significant rain for some places on Tuesday, but then high pressure starts to build and temperatures as a result will start to rise. Sally. Alexis, thanks very much. An ancient tradition to celebrate May Day is bringing people together even during the lockdown. Rebecca Parker has been finding out more.